Hello everyone, Mike Money Gaming here and welcome to Let's Show Off. Today, well, it's a interesting game, to say the least. Hmm. Anyway, I needed something to do, something special, so I thought I'd play this. Once the title shows up. <laughs> Wow, that's blurry as hell, but that's okay. Well, <laughs> that's not going to be much of a problem, I'm sure. Welcome to Midway Arcade, Midway Arcade Treasures. This game is actually kind of interesting because it has, like, you know, it's one of those all, like, you know, a lot of games in one type game. Auto save, whatever. So you have, like, the skateboard game, you have the original Joust, Joust 2, um, you got Blaster, Bubbles, Clax, Marble Madness. Actually, Clax is one that's very. Uh, pleasurable to some people. Not pleasurable, but enjoyable. Um, what is this called? Yeah, Defender. You got Defender and Defender 2. Uh, the original Paperboy. Rampage. Gauntlet. Smash TV, which is a very interesting one. Vindicators. Me and my brother used to play the hell out of that. Um, this is like some kind of t like toboggan game, something like that. Where you're like in an inner tube the entire time. A lot of fun to play as two player, not so much as one player. Uh, this game, I think this is like more like an arcade, not like arcade, um, like Atari like game. Basically, you're a little ship and you fly around and you have to collect like parts for this like missile. And while you do it, there's like this creature that's forming up the entire time. Uh, this game is kind of interesting. It's called uh, Satan's um, Hollow, I think. Yeah, Satan's Hollow. It's a very interesting game. It's a shooter game, um, like a shooter defender game type thing, and you have to collect things and put them in your inventory as your sto shows there. Nothing too special. Robotron, another interesting game. Uh, Super Sprint. Spy something or another. I think it's like Spy Hunter. Road Blasters. Uh, here's another good one. Um, I think it's like Ram. It's like Ram something or another. It's a very interesting game because what it is, you are. Um, yeah, Rampart. It's basically a tower defense kind of game for the PS2. That's basically what it is. And then of course Splat. Uh, if this is the game I think it is, this is the one I want to show you first. No, okay, it's not. Special weapon, fire, menu, steering, gas, start game. Wow, okay. We'll see how this goes. So yeah, this is Road Blaster. As you can see, you get, you get hit, you die, you have a gas tank. <laughs> Stuff like that. It's kind of a difficult game, but it's not the one I was thinking of. There's actually a, um, what do you call it? A, um, there was an actual, it was a really interesting game on here at one point, like on one of these games that I played, and it was a simulation racing game, but I guess I didn't find it, this is just something different. Haha, <laughs> we made it. Yeah, I know. But I didn't have any weapons. Ah, shit! <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so here's one of our weapons. Shoot people with it. Not that it's like the most useful thing in the world. Crash into those mines, you'll die, so... Yeah, just keep that in mind. Ooh, got shot. We made it, just before we ran, I guess. Alright. It's kind of like a... In my opinion, it's like... A remake of the original, um... Road, uh... What was that game? Rad Racer? I don't remember. It kind of reminds me of that, except with weapons. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. Uh, the purple cars, I think they're invincible to most weapons. So just keep that in mind. Basically, this is a game that's really hard to talk to, but you get the main idea. It's kind of interesting, not like the greatest game in the world, it's just kind of like something you would expect from, like, uh, if it was like on a game system, like, on one of the old Nintendo systems, actually, if I had to guess. But, um, no, they put it on the, um, you know, Super, no, not Super Nintendo, the PlayStation instead. Haha, <laughs> we still made it. <laughs> but we're out of gas, so it's not going to be too much. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm not very good for this. Oh, that's a weapon. I thought that was. There's actually a. Um, Okay, it is a boost, okay. <laughs> and then I crash, of course. What sucks is if you crash, you lose whatever weapon you or attachment you had before, so keep that in mind, of course. This also kind of reminds me of pole position now that I think about it, too. Everybody knows what pole position is, so I don't want to tell anybody. And if I do, well, okay. Oh, I'm missing fuel. No! Oh, here we got a motorcyclist. It almost makes you feel bad for shooting them. Yeah, and they still will blow you up if you hit him. Despite in real life, if you hit a motorcycle, it would just go flying and the poor guy would die. <laughs> okay, that's not funny. I should not laugh because there's been stories of that happening to people in my hometown and that's depressing. Anyway, you get the basic idea of that game. Huh. Cool. Wow, okay. Look at that, it's just like going crazy. So, yeah, basically it's going to save every time you come back, so don't worry about that. Um, let's see, was it this game or not? Oh, here's Root Beer Tapper. I don't see any other driving games for this one, so it probably wasn't this one. 
Ah, here's another fun game, Marble Madness. They kind of re-released this on an, uh, not this exactly, but they re-released a game like this, similar to this at least, on the, um, what do you call it? The, um, iPhone, yes, the iPhone. But I bet it's also for Android too, but it was mainly an iPhone app. Basically, as you see, um, you are a marble, and you're going through these courses, and um, your goal is to make it to the end before the time runs out, and not die, basically. There doesn't seem to be any music. I used to be very good at this game, but I'm not really that great anymore. If you get attacked by that black ball there, uh, what he'll try to do is knock you off the edge, like that. <laughs> you can actually try to knock him off too, like that, so you'll get points for doing so. Those things will actually eat your ball if you get hit by them. See, like that. Ah, oh, I just fell. Too far. Can't tell every time that's happened. That's like some I think it's like ice or something. But yeah, you get the idea. MJA, why not? Anyway. <laughs> so, there's Marble Madness for you. Basically, I'm just going to do a couple of these games. I'm not going to show off every single one of them, because not all of them are that great. Like, Joust, I don't really care for Joust. If you guys do, I'm sorry, but I really don't. Rampage is a good one, but let's do some Smash TV. So, it works the way you would think. It's a control stick player game. Uh, you can also use the buttons if you want, but it's easier if you play it with the control stick. Huh. <laughs> John's name's on here. That's interesting. Let's go! Now, there are women clad in bikinis, so just so you know. See what I was talking about. Thankfully, there's nothing like really bad in this game. Like you know, there's like no naked women or anything like that. So I got I got nothing to worry about trying to hide.
anyway, the only suggestions I like to... Well, not suggestions, but the only ideas that I can tell you to do for this to make it easier for you. Don't stay in one place for too long. And if you're playing with multiple people, uh, it's best that if you, like, stay away from each other as much as possible. Oops. Because what will end up happening is you'll end up, like, confusing who's who and end up stepping on the thin lines and stuff. Do you remember what the map said to which way to go? If you don't, don't worry. Just go whichever way you want this time. <laughs> I guess, like, basically, your weapon is a automatic. Pistol. <laughs> well, your main one. You can get better ones, and better weapons. Which, of course, the power ups is what the better weapons are. But they're not the greatest thing on the earth either. I think the best weapon in the game, in my opinion, would have to be the grenades. But of course, they're so hard to find that you're better off just trying to get uh, uh, other things. Yeah, you kind of get the idea of this game too. Uh, I have beaten this game before, but it's hell deliciously long, and it's kind of funny when you do because. Uh, Basically, I'll just tell you something, I'm not going to sh ever show it. Uh, you fight the host that you saw in that one thing, and he turns himself into a robot so he can find you. And every time you shoot him, he says one of his catchphrases. It's actually kind of funny, to be honest. Yeah. Meet Mr. Shrapnel. I wish there was a way to skip the thing, but there's not. No way. That's what happens at the end of you. that game. Let's see, we're up to 20 minutes. So yeah, that's basically all there really is to show that's like really that great. Um, if you remember playing this, then yeah, that's awesome. Actually, this might be it. I don't know. 
We'll see. If it is it, then we'll continue. If not, I'll just talk over it while I mess around. No, no, this isn't it. What's funny is, yeah, if you watch your character after losing, you can see him, like, trying to fix his engine. <laughs> this isn't the one I was looking for, but it's kind of a funny one all the same. The controls for this are kind of jacked up, though, I'm not gonna lie. You can be just barely turning. Oh fuck. I don't know if that's gonna count me going through that. Looks like a try. Ah, oh, come on. Anyway, you get the idea. That game blows. There's no doubt about it. But it's cute, you know? It's one of those fun games. Anyway, though, I guess if you want to see more of them, you can let me know. But I'm going to stop for now, because this doesn't have the game I was looking for. But I did want to show off some of these, because they're kind of interesting. <sighs> anyway, though, um... I guess when we come back we'll probably do another one if I can find it. If not, I'll probably do one of my regular Let's Plays. Till then, everyone. Bye.